hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to resume our discussion on uh, electrical machines so so far we have divided our discussion on electrical machines as basic concepts related to uh, the principles of electromagnetism magnetic circuits that then the electrical machines be it uh, motor generator transformer like that so we will be discussing something from each section so that we carry out our discussion in a uniform way so in the next series of videos the discussion will be on basic concepts related to electromagnetic circuits the principles of electromagnetism on which the whole foundation of electrical machines is laid upon so we have already posted some video related to that you can check it out in the electrical machines playlist in this video we are going to discuss about basic things uh, magnetic field magnetic flux and magnetic force basic concepts related to it so what is magnetic field okay so it is the space around a current carrying conductor or a magnet where the magnetic effects can be felt it can be experienced okay so it is represented by magnetic lines of force okay and these magnetic lines of force they form closed loops so the whole uh, magnetic effect of electric current it was based on one accidental uh, experiment which was performed by oster which is called as oster's discovery which laid down the principle or led to the first discovery of electromagnetism okay magnetic effect of electric current that current flowing through a conductor can cause it to behave like a magnet so it was a very simple experiment which consisted of a conducting wire connected to a battery and a switch and a magnetic compass needle was placed parallel to the wire initially when there was no current through the wire there was no deflection in the needle then when the circuit was closed and a current uh, was flowing through the wire there was deflection in the magnetic needle and when the direction of the current was reversed in that case the deflection was opposite to that when the polarity was changed so this deflection and this deflection it was opposite so this confirmed the magnetic effect of electric current that phenomena okay so the existence of a magnetic field around current carrying conductor that you know opened whole new dimension whole new possibilities around which different electrical machines were designed so there are some important terms notations related to it which we'll be discussing these terms will come into play when we'll be discussing the electrical machines so at that time there will be no confusion if there is some confusion i will simply refer you to the particular videos in the uh, i buttons or anywhere so that you can watch those videos confirm uh, you know clear your doubts everything related to that so magnetic flux density so the strength of magnetic field it is measured by a quantity called as the magnetic field density so it is a vector quantity which means it has both magnitude and direction and it is symbol it is represented by the symbol b most uh, mostly it is used in vector form where vector notation is used with an arrow head above it so it is simply called as magnetic field also and the unit of magnetic field intensity or magnetic flux density is tesla or weber per meter square we'll come to that right now when we'll be discussing about magnetic flux so it is a measure of the concentration of number of magnetic 
lines of force per unit area. So there we have to discuss another important parameter which is magnetic flux. So what is magnetic flux basically is it is the total number of magnetic field lines crossing through a surface area normally. Okay, so in order to illustrate this whole concept of magnetic flux and magnetic field intensity or magnetic flux density, let us say we have a surface area which is tilted at a particular angle and there are magnetic field lines represented by B vector passing through it. A vector is the area vector if you are familiar with the concept of area vector where we have a vector normal to the surface area okay which is called as the area vector or the surface area vector that area vector and the magnetic field lines they make an angle theta okay the angle between them is theta so the magnetic flux phi is simply the dot product of the area vector and the magnetic flux density vector b vector dot a vector which is b a cos theta that is the magnetic flux so the magnetic flux therefore is a scalar quantity magnetic flux density is a vector quantity but magnetic flux is a scalar quantity because it is the dot product of the area vector and the uh, magnetic flux density vector so it is the number of magnetic field lines passing through a surface area which is tilted at any particular angle with respect to the magnetic field lines okay so when it is perpendicular when the surface is perpendicular to the magnetic field lines maximum number of field lines will be passed and when it is parallel no field lines will pass through it because when it will be parallel to it theta will be 90 degree cos 90 degree will be zero when it is perpendicular when this area the surface area is perpendicular to the magnetic field lines in that case theta will be nine uh, theta will be zero degree and in that case it will be maximum b a cos zero degree which is b a okay so when it is the surface area is perpendicular maximum flux when it is parallel minimum flux okay so this is magnetic field uh, magnetic flux density and magnetic flux now another important concept related to it is the concept of magnetic force so which basically uh, describes uh, what will be the magnetic force exerted on a charge moving in a uniform magnetic field so let us say we have a charge positive charge q moving in a magnetic field or magnetic flux density b vector with a velocity v vector small v vector here the angle between the velocity vector or the velocity of the charge and the magnetic uh, flux density is theta so in this case this magnetic field it exerts a force called as magnetic force on this positive charge and that magnetic force is expressed as this q small v vector cross b vector this is the cross product okay or vector product of the velocity vector and the magnetic flux density vector multiplied with the charge okay so in scalar form it is q v b sin theta so if you want you can check all the videos related to dot product cross product basic concepts related to scalars and vectors in the basic physics playlist okay there i have discussed everything about dot and cross product so i'm not going into detail about that so here this is the expression of the magnetic force which is exerted by the magnetic field on a charge moving with a velocity v vector in a uniform magnetic field so here the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector they have an angle theta in between them so here the magnetic flux density i have taken it in the direction of y axis and the velocity vector which makes an angle theta with the magnetic flux density vector 
lies in the xy plane so magnetic flux density and velocity vectors they lie in the same plane but the magnetic force which is the cross product of the velocity and the magnetic flux density vector it is in perpendicular to the plane containing these two vectors it is perpendicular to the xy plane along the z axis okay now an interesting thing suppose the value of charge q is one unit the charge is moving with a unit velocity and the angle theta is 90 degree in this condition if we substitute the values here q is one unit velocity is one unit theta is 90 degree in that case the magnetic force will simply be equal to capital b which is the magnetic flux density so another important definition of magnetic flux density is that it is the force experienced by a unit charge okay by a unit charge moving with a unit velocity perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field okay so the magnetic flux density is the force experienced by unit charge moving with a unit velocity at an angle perpendicular with its velocity vector perpendicular to the magnetic flux density vector so that is another important definition of magnetic force so friends here we have discussed some basic things related to magnetic field about magnetic flux density magnetic flux the relationship between it between them then uh, about magnetic force that is the force experienced by a charge moving in a magnetic field and the behavior of that and another important definition of magnetic flux density so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much